Hi everybody, my name is Samantha Cusick and I'm a hairstylist. Today I'm going to show you three no heat hairstyles that I do using my favourite tangled teaser bushes. First thing I do is just work through with my finishing brush. This one is amazing because the teeth are so soft so they don't get tangled on anything like that. And I actually wear a few little extensions so it's nice just to be able to go all the way over them without worrying. So just give that a little, little brush through. Okay. And I'm just gonna section my hair from sort of the temple just back to where the top of my ear is. And then we're just gonna give this a little twist. And then with these really cute butterfly clips, just pop one in. And we're gonna do the same with the section that's left underneath. And then I like to clip this to where this finishes so it makes like one section. It just keeps everything out the way. But it just gets all my hair out of the way, but I really love how cute this is and kind of 90s inspired. So very, very fun. And the same thing on this side. So we're gonna just take our section and twist. Pop our little clip in. Make sure that they're level, which they are. And then this one. I love this on like in between wash days. If my hair gets a bit oily around the front, then I'll just pack in some dry shampoo. And usually my waves are pretty good on the bottom. So this is just a really cute little daytime look that I do. No heat, just keeping it out of the way and looking cute for the day. Continuing with the theme of the claw clip because I am obsessed and they're super easy and they look really cute. Um, another no heat hairstyle that I do, I take again my back combing brush and I just section out the front because I like to leave a little bit down when I do these ones. So just like that. And then what we do, put that behind my shoulders so I can get organized. I use the back combing brush because it's got these really nice soft bristles. So you can really gently just tease the hair to get a little bit of volume without causing damage. So I just get a little bit more volume in the root which is always good on that next day when you put a bit of dry shampoo in. This just really helps as well. So, when I've done that, we've got the front bits down. And then all I like to do is take the top half back, just keeping a lot of texture in. So using again the back combing brush, just to make sure we've got a nice amount of texture in there. All the little bits down that we want. And then I just use this to secure it into like a half up, half down situation. Like you're right. Really easy, but just something for the next day if you're in a bit of a rush and you just want to get some of that hair out the way. For my final no heat hairstyle, Again, give it a little brush through with the finishing brush because I love the bristles, they're so soft and so nice. And then what we're gonna do is with our back combing brush, just section off a little bit here. Just to keep something down around the face, it's a little bit softer. And I got two really cute scrunchies for these because using silk scrunchies is a really good way to protect your hair if you're wanting to wear it up. What I'm going to do is turn around so you can see what I'm going to do. Just going to take from behind the ears into a half pony. I literally love this look, it's so easy, but it's so cute. I hope you guys all find that useful. Thank you so much for watching, bye.